So, now that I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to grab my color maps. I'm going to grab one of them. I'm going to drop it in. It's going to create its own layer. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the background lock. And I'm going to import or drop in my other color textures. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these. I'm going to create a new folder for these. A new group. I'm just going to call them color maps. Hit enter. Yeah, so I'm going to grab my other maps now. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'll be right back. All right, so now that I have all those put together, now what I need to do is I need to rasterize these images because you can't edit them unless they're rasterized. So I'm going to right select them all, shift right click, rasterize layers. So now I can edit them. So now what I have to do is I have to find the corresponding name. So this one is called cubes material two base color one so if i found this i'm going to turn off all these other maps that way i can see what i'm doing so here's my color map uh, let's actually start with the marble so when i did the dilation as you can see it created this little edge of color this is what you want just in case you know your UVs stretch a little bit further than you wanted them to, and it and it it just gives it some. Uh, it's a safety net. So I'm going to select my magic wand. I'm going to set the tolerance to one. I'm going to select the black. So make sure the tolerance is set to one. That way, if you have any off grays and it's really close to black, it will only select the black. And then I'm going to hit delete. I'm not going to remove my selection. I'm going to go to back to my layers. I'm going to find my metalness map that is for this one in particular. So material three, material three. I'll select on it and I'm going to hit delete. Material three for the height map. Delete, material three for the normal map, and delete. So if you don't do it this way, what's gonna end up happening is that if you have multiple objects on one map, something's not gonna appear on one of your objects. So this is why you have to go through and do this. So here's my roughness map for that marble texture. Delete, and there you go. So now you see, that this appeared because I deleted all the black. This is now, the black is now transparent. That is what you want. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other layers. All right. And so the reason we use the color map as our selection is because we know the color map, the color map is not gonna have any black on it or it shouldn't so if i turn these other layers off the selection i made because i had the tolerance set to zero it deleted all the uh all the black it didn't go into my object at all That's why when you're painting, you nothing is ever purely black. Everything is always an off gray. Yeah. So now I have my color maps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to file. Save as. I'm at cubes. I'm going to save the PSD file and I'm going to call it cubes. 
textures. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save each of these as their individual maps. So I'm gonna to go to File, Save as a Copy, and PNG. I'm gonna call this Cubes Textures Color. I'm gonna turn off the, the color map and I'm gonna turn on the metallic map. I'm gonna to go to File, Save As. Cubes, Textures, Metallic. Metal. File, save as, and I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna quickly save all these out. So that is how you clean up your maps in Photoshop for importing into Maya or Unity, Unreal, any other rendering engine, really. Uh, next, I'm going to be showing you how to apply them in uh, Arnold on Maya. So stay tuned.